Hello, I am Dr. Karthik from MedLife. Uh, today we will see what should one do if there is a heart attack, right? So in the previous video, we had actually seen what is a heart attack, how it happens. So just as a quick recap, all of us know heart is a muscle. It is an organ, it's a muscle based organ which pumps blood to all the parts of the body, supplying oxygen and supplying nutrients. Now, the heart itself is supplied by a small blood vessel called the coronary artery. Now, if there is a blockage in the coronary artery and if the blood flow through the coronary artery to the heart muscle goes down because of any reason, that is when a patient suffers a heart attack. Now, what does the patient feel when he suffers a heart attack? So, sometimes the patient gets chest pain. There is heaviness in the center of the chest as though there is a heavy weight that's placed on the center of the chest. Many patients feel breathlessness, difficulty in breathing. There is profuse sweating sometimes. And this pain that the patient experiences not only can be in the, in the heart side, it can even migrate to the left shoulder. It can go down the left arm. It can even go up the neck and go to the left jaw. Many people have a radiating pain to the back, to the shoulder blade as well. It is very important to act in time when someone has a heart attack. So there are two possibilities. Either the patient who has a heart attack is still conscious or the patient is not conscious. So what should one do when the patient is conscious? So immediately there is a tablet called nitroglycerine which increases the size of the blood vessel. It dilates the coronary artery allows for smooth flow of blood in back into the heart muscle. This tablet can be given by mouth kept under the tongue. Or there is also aspirin tablet which is available in a chewable format. A chewable aspirin can be given. Aspirin is a blood thinner. It reduces the clotting of blood. So these two if available should be immediately given. Call the ambulance immediately and prepare to shift the patient to the hospital. Now, what if the patient is not conscious? That is where you need the help of the nearest available person who can attend to this patient. Now, this person can actually, number one, if chewable aspirin or nitroglycerin is available, try to see if the patient can be given aspirin, chewable aspirin. Second, give a lot of space, remove the crowd. There should be enough space and fresh air for the patient to breathe. Make the patient to lie down and rest and give CPR, the patient lies on the, on the patient's back and then there are chest compressions which are given. We call it as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. There are few people who are trained to give a CPR where you give chest compressions and you also blow air into the mouth. If you are not trained in CPR, not to worry. Call up the ambulance person. Typically, there is a trained paramedical person or a nurse in the ambulance who can also guide you how to you know, keep the patient uh, you know, uh, comfortable. Second, uh, if, the, if there is a defibrillator which is available in many of the airports, railway stations, shopping malls and commercial centers and even office spaces, you, see, you today see a small box which is attached to the wall. Uh, it is written as AED or Automatic External Defibrillator. If a defibrillator box is available, it has two electrodes that connects to the chest. It gives a current, it gives a shock, which actually revives the heart muscle and makes the heart muscle to start pumping normal again. So if you have access to an AED or a defibrillator, follow the instructions. They give voice instructions and you can actually help save life. Most importantly, call the ambulance, make sure the ambulance arrives on time and ship the patient to the hospital. So therefore, acting on time is key to saving a life when someone has a heart attack. So let's act on time. So hope you have liked this video, subscribe to our channel and look forward to more such videos. Life.